So after the success of the last drill, decided that I'm going to drill closer to the shear line on this to try and eliminate the need to pick or just to make the picking easier because that was quite tricky actually to get the get up to the back and trick the other one. So I'm going to reset this. There we go. Cam's locked back into position. Keys should still work. It's from this side anyway. Yeah, key still works. Cool, so now I'm going to try and drill it closer to the shear line. I'm even going to use the same drill bit that I was using previously. This is like a two pound drill bit. It's not, it, it is TCT, but it's not expensive. So let's try and get it really close to the shear line this time. Don't want to cross it. I don't want to go anywhere near. I don't want to fuse any of the parts of the shear line. I'm making sure I come in straight. Cool, so I'm happy that's straight. Nice and easy. No pressure. Let the drill do the work. Just make sure the cinder's straight and I'm drilling straight. Starting to enter the first chamber. Can slack, slack off a bit. You can see, but we've got entering the first chamber. Spring there. Spring's keeping that pin up, so if it's hard and still, I'm just going to keep keep that spring in there. I'm going to pull that out just yet. Check my angle again, make sure I'm going straight and not going up. Bit of resistance there, so it's going to back off a little bit, get the speed up. Cool. And again there, so just check my drill bit, drill bit's fine. So we've just gone past the first set of anti-drills, eating them for breakfast, not a problem. see there I hit the second set so I'm just backing off getting the speed up and really gently applying pressure. A little bit of difficulty, drill bit's okay. Yeah, just getting through there. the next chamber already so we're now into the third just literally come into and about to exit the third chamber fourth chamber fifth chamber sixth chamber there's nothing beyond there so it's going to carry on for a bit Just drilled front to back, all six chambers, no issues whatsoever. Now I always carry blanks for locks, especially so I can clear the chambers. Uh, let's find a blank for that lock. Where are Give that a couple of little nudges with a hammer. It just helps the pins fall down. And as a result of me doing that, see the pins starting to drop out. So we're halfway there. So I'm just gonna do that a few more times. Again, there's no cut on this key, completely blank key, uncut. Give it a wiggle. 
and then with our remover just going to pull any of them pins out we can there's a top part of a spool pin if you can see that all coming out pretty nicely So something you will be able to do from the front of the door, a few taps. Can really, really helps pins to drop down. And there we go. So a few more come out. See that how much that core's moving already. Come on, big pin. There we go. Massive pin. Loads of pins coming out. Loads of pins coming out. Crikey. This is way easier than uh, going further down like we did last time. There's a complete spool about to come out. Bits of springs, there you go. Complete spool there. So let's put the key in. Still nothing, no rotation yet. Oh, big pin at the back. Where did that go? Still there. That was a big lad, that one. Still not opening, okay. Uh, just looking down the barrel, I can see that pin four hasn't dropped. So I'm gonna try pushing pin four up. Very mine's a blank shot and push up. Pin four, you can see that. Pin four stuck up in there. The first pin you can see, you can definitely see it at the bottom there. I'm just fiddling with that one. Oh, look at that rotation. So close, where is it? That's where I've really got rubbish hooks. Bent them all straight. Oh, I've just reset it. Pin 
got the layout. <laughs> Just pushed it all the way back up. There we go. Right, that's dropped down. That last pin's dropped down. Look at the rotation we've got on the core now. So it can only be a bit of a pin or half a pin left in there. I'm just going to pick through the hole. That was the hardened steel pin. Right, so I can see a bit of brass on the very last pin, pin six. So I'm just going to push that up. There we go, bang, we're in. <laughs> so anti-drill, anti-pick, screw you, Ulteon, boom. Under 10 minutes.